Look lively now, Ingrid. Mother and father wish us to select some well-mannered servants to replace those that recently retired. I believe a lady's maid for my mother. Someone to assist my father in the laboratory. And a few ladies to assist the housekeeping staff. A pity about my father's assistant Peter retiring. He was a good chap. I shall certainly miss the intelligent conversations I had with the man at dinner. I heard your father send him into his retirement with a very generous severance pay. He'll be able to live his remaining years in fairly good comfort. Good man, your father, if I may say. Acquired all of us servants from this good, awful slave market, and changed our lives forever. Treating us good, and even paying us. For heaven's sakes, even giving us retirement packages like he did for lovely Peter. You know, Master Henry, you ought to consider getting yourself an assistant as well, for all the business goings on you have yourself. <laughs> Getting tired of me already, are you, Ingrid? Oh, well, it's nothing like that, you cheeky boy. And you know it. The house chef is suffering without me. And I confess, I miss the heavenly smells of that kitchen. Good heavens, that man is really a genius. Boggles my mind he isn't married. Are you interested in Friedrich Ingrid? You should tell him. You might be surprised by his reaction. Oh, you cheeky, cheeky boy. You, you haven't heard anything, have you? <laughs> maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Ah, here we are. The slave market gates. Mm. Careful. Don't let those running this place see that look on your face. They might get offended. I am not afraid of these scoundrels. They will not dare to challenge a man of my status and wealth. They need my family's business far too much. Now then, you there, by the gates. Yes, you. You. I am Lord Henry Buchanan. I have an appointment to view some of your higher quality offerings. Let us sit. My time is quite precious. No delays now. Chop chop. Oh, yes. We've been expecting you, your lordship. Please come right in. Just follow the path roped off from the rest. That will bring you to the quality merchandise built. Thank you. Come along, Ingrid. I hate the attitude they have around here. Merchandise. Calling people merchandise. I wish your mother was having better luck making enslavement illegal around these parts. But bless the lot of you coming down here and saving who you can. I wish it were more. But if we take too many at once, they will realise we are disapprove of them and their ways. And they will either Refuse to sell to us or jack up the prices. I understand, Henry. You need never explain yourself to me. I know your heart. Hm. 
Thank you, Ingrid. It means much to me to know that I can trust your friendship and believe in my family so much. Now then. Wait. What is that going on over there? Come with me, Ingrid. We will investigate. Why, you wretched witch! I'll teach you to be spitting at your bitters. You strike that woman, and so help me. I will see your hands removed from your wretched wrist. Lord Henry! Oh, I, uh, I urge he was going to be visiting us today. Uh, anyway, th this wench, she spit at me face, your lordship. Can't be having that. She's to be taught to respect her superiors, especially if she wants to stay here in this quality merch building. You wouldn't want to be sleeping down in the dirt with the lesser slaves, now would you, you vile wench? Release her arm. I won't ask you twice. Go about your business. I wish to speak with this young lady. But your lordship, she ain't fit to be. Did I stutter? Go! <laughs> you speak of respecting your betters. Perhaps you should practice what you preach. A lord gave you an order. Now, leave me to speak with this woman alone. Yes, your lordship. Uh. Ingrid, please go and begin selecting the appropriate servants for the house. I trust your judgment. Plus, you have trust here among the slaves, having once come from here yourself. Go and enjoy liberating a few more to a better life. All right then, Henry. Are you sure you'll be all right here on your own with this girl? I'll be fine. Do not worry. Now then. Please. Come over here to this bench and sit down. Have a rest. Now please, talk to me. Do you know who I am? No. <laughs> Surprising, but no issue. I am Lord Henry Buchanan. My family is among the most prominent of the noble families in this country. And we are well known for our noble and charitable works. Perhaps you've heard of my mother, the Lady of Valencia Buchanan. She tries very hard to make life more bearable for slaves. But perhaps one day she aims to make enslavement of the poor illegal. You are new to this country and have only been in the country six months. My lady... How in the world did you end up here, then? What happened? You were brought here by a man who promised to marry you. And then when you arrived, he had married a worthier woman already and left you alone to fend for yourself. You were then found on the street by these Brutes and enslaved. That is terrible. Do you have a family back home? Parents? Perhaps I can help you. Oh, I see. Your parents died when you were young, and you used what money you had left to come here and get married. Hmm. Perhaps I can still help you. If you would be willing to trust me, 
I can purchase you and hire you as my personal assistant. You would be safe in my family's estate, given clothes, a room, food, and generous pay for your services. Eventually, if you wish, when you have enough money, you may return home. You will do it. Excellent. I confess, though, I am surprised you were willing to trust me so quickly, given the obvious poor treatment you've received thus far. You say you know I am different because I stepped in to protect you, when most wouldn't want to risk getting involved, and you believe I have honest eyes. Well, thank you. That is a lovely compliment. I must compliment you as well, to have retained your wits and strength of will after all you've endured. It is quite commendable. Will I really pay you for serving me? Oh, dear lady, yes. Quite well, in fact. You see, my family doesn't own slaves. We come here and purchase the slaves, but then we free them and offer them fair and generous payment to work in our home until they get back on their feet. Some even decide to stay with us out of loyalty and love. My father's lab assistant just recently retired and was given a very large sum of money for his retirement. My father was quite fond of him. They became very good friends. I believe they still enjoy cards and a pint of ale whenever my father has the time. Pardon the intrusion, your lordship. My superiors will to be knowing what be going on with this woman. I will purchase her. Add her price unto those my assistant Ingrid has already chosen. Uh, very well then, your lordship. I'll get on that then. Now then, come with me, my lady. You will ride in the main carriage with me in England. I assume you and I will have much more to talk about, especially with how closely you will be working alongside me from now on. What? Oh, my dear, no. I will not take advantage of you that way. I promise you that. When I say assistant, I mean assistant with business and daily life. Not that. No one will hurt you that way, so long as you work for me. Now come along. Let's get you out of here.